it's going to put the sentry so the wave is going to push into the tower. Now uh, he's going to yep. body block the camps. Kill some couriers. This so. is what you should do when you're playing a melee position for where you feel like you can't contest the lane, you can't really uh, do much. So you just try to pull waves, kill couriers, be annoying. Yep, he's going to be blocking as well. He's going to have to eat a little bit of that damage from the level 1 Firestorm. But only just a bit. As Antares, he TPs to the top lane, charges on through. FNG as well, connecting from below. He's got a Seder Banisher here for the Purge. That's going to be an additional slow here onto Gabby. Gabby falling a bit low, but it's Kiritich who's zoned out because of these wild Axes stacks. In the meantime, Antares dying to the Hawks and the Summons. The last stack of Axes, not enough damage, however. As Virtus Pro unable to find their mark. Meanwhile, down bottom, they notice that Notice is completely alone. They put him on Notice as they start sieging his high ground tower here. This is not fun. Oh, and there's going to be a two-man bushwhack here. Did he lives to do that? I thought maybe the acorn shot would have done him in. Holy, this whole wing plus beast plus is just two v three, no problem. You know this enchantress lock, SB. There's no match at all. Yeah. Pretty soon, it's oh, there it is. Eventually, they find him. F and G goes down. I bet gets the regen. This is huge. Yeah, I bet. He might continue going here. He's got this regen running, still active. Has the ball lightning ready. Antares might be a nice catch. Frostbite is now ready. They're going to lock him down. Abed pumping in the damage here. The trap's low. Won't change a thing. They get the kill. Meanwhile, top. Gabby just runs down the Slark. Right, this game is escape. getting out of control. This is, this is not how they shoot up. Winter, is this, Wait, all a, this is a counter pick. And she's supposed to beat the Beastmaster instead. She's just being dominated. Bot lane, Janna is here again. This is the type of game that you want to be in as a CM. Constantly going for kills, pressuring the enemy. Yeah. At the very least, Virtus Pro, they will show up to ensure they get their hands on both of their Wisdom Runes. Antares, he desperately needed that. He's still level 3. Was barely level 3 before he picked up the rune. And well, noticed. They're going to go ahead and charge on through this tower. That will at least allow him to live. TP is coming through from Squad S6. It would be a big jump now onto Natsumi if they can get him because John Well in with the root. The trap slow is going to connect. They're looking for a bash. Instead, they find themselves bushwhacked now as they blow through Squad X's refraction charges here, doing a little bit of a spin there as he was rooted down. Nice reactions from Blacklist. He's going to come through with the gate now. Gabby, he might be... Yeah, he might still be fine. Well, actually, I don't know. Four heroes, that is certainly... Uh, Maybe too much for him. Make it five, actually, as FNG will also what join in. What the hell? Five heroes? They, yeah. they all gone through the gate. They're waiting at the gate now. Tim and Janna. I don't think they can take this gate back. This is far too dangerous. This is a one-way ticket, you know? <laughs> Gabby, Gabby tips notice, like, you really, you know, the, the entire village showed up to kill me. You needed the whole village. Yeah. They're going back in. A bit aggressive here. For the fraction charges. Nope, that's not going to make a difference. FNG, you, no wisp will protect you from the might of the elements, the freezing field. I mean, his game is cool. It isn't that 11 minute. Oh, wow. Axe. <laughs> and uh, who better to reveal the drums of Slama Wait, than some poor Bambi? He just walked in as an offering. Uh, he did. I, I presume he didn't know that there was a primal roar. He was trying to get to the top lane of the map and do a bit of farming. Scary is it to play that style into a storm, into a beast master, into a hood. You can't be afraid, Richie. You just have to do what you gotta do. Push out the okay. waves. You go through the gates, you cross the map, you push out uh, waves. Notice. Smoke breaks. They know he's hiding in the trees. Orchid malevolence means he can cast no spells. Oh, they're gonna go high ground here, I think, if they push down the tower. Nah, that's a not, wave. Come on, that's illegal. It's 15 minutes. They're not going high ground. I think they can. They're actually strong enough. Of myself. Well, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow, that, that's a very nice zip. He avoids that initial stun, and now a oh, rainbow TP is coming on through as the reinforcements from Blacklist. Gabby needs vision here for the Primal War. He's gonna eventually, <laughs> he'll just have to settle for the Bambi as that darn Templar assassin's able to evade his grasp. Oh, that was funny. I think yeah. can maybe cut a wave here, but well. He did use just well, about it. I don't know in. what you have left to fight with now. Natsumi, Requiem of Souls, does catch on Taurus here. 
Yeah, and he is an easy kill. They are going to call in the Fiends Gate reinforcements now. Both cores looking to go on in. There's that defusal getting to work Gabby's on the John Well. He should be an easy kill, but Natsumi's also standing his ground. Gabby able to beat down the drums and take down notice as Gabby finds a second now onto Kiritich. It's Abed who locks down Squad X and an FNG once again. A little bit of Bambi dessert as it is a 1 for 5 wipe. Should be a tier 2 tower as well. Real job, so we haven't had to deal with this. Hold that thought, Squad X. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're going to stack the stuns, but uh, it's not going to matter. Gabby's yeah, the one to collect the kill there, as Abed's credited for canceling the TP. Scroll notice. He's going to try and TP out as well. And, well, well I thought he was going to be successful. I thought wrong, though, as Tim's is going to be able to catch up to him with that rod of Atos. Your lineup. This so is... Just, just sitting there and waiting for the uh -oh. inevitable end that's coming. Yeah, no matter how overprotective those wisps are, no way that it was going to save FNG in that instance. Kirite GTP's back. All he has is an Orchid, but it's Abed who has a BKB. He has a Dispel. Could force staff sees not send me out of harm's way as they're going to leap on forward. Kirite forced to use the Shadow Dance early. Abed taking a bit of damage. Bob comes the Requiem now. Mech Heal does keep notice topped up here just for a bit longer as Abed is BKB wearing off. He will be pushed off of the high ground. A buyback from FNG. All hands on deck now for Virtus Pro, who do manage to keep everyone alive, including these melee barracks on 69 HP. Oh, and a nice TA silence on the Beastmaster. Gabby jumped in a bit too early. He still has all the drums of Slom keeping him topped up, but eventually will be killed off. Hold on. Maybe too aggressive here, Blacklist. Natsumi, though, still dealing the damage. Kirite, she does not have a Shadow Dance, but a nicely timed Dark Pack is going to at least be able to get Slark to safety. Squadix jumping in as John Well with the world's shortest freezing field realizes he's got to get out of here as the fight's falling apart. Abed, he gets jumped by Kirite. Just Squadix collects the kill onto Tim's. A double kill now for the Slark. And, well, it's still a 15k now. We're really less temporary our expectations here, Winter, but that is at least signs of life. And now it's all ride or die for them. It's Abed. Well, it might be die for him. His BKB charge is oh, nice ready to go, the but the Nether Strike still catching him. Abed will zip away. Virtus Pro, they haven't really committed much. Is not assuming he TPs to the Tier 1 tower. Ready to go on this Requiem. Kiritich is caught once, the four staff forward. Natsumi trying to get the Requiem up, but he doesn't have a BKB. The charge through, who's gonna catch him once? Requiem now silenced by the trap as Kiritich rips through Gabby. Virtus Pro fighting their way back in this game. Blacklist, they might be letting this slip through their hands as that's gonna aggressive Fiends Gage on well. Just dropping the freezing field, that's good enough for the kill. Onto Antares as the Rod of Atos now holding down Squad X, but Virtus Pro sensing blood in the water. They're looking for more. Lord Gabby is dead. Notice his silence as Tim's retreating underneath his tower. John Well dies to Kiritich here in the Wishing Wells. Notice taking a beating here from this physical damage SF. But VP find a second big kill here onto the Beastmaster. Is able to find eyes onto Kiritich. Kiritich, they're going to try and set up for the chain stun here. They still throw the mech heal, but it's not enough. Natsumi, he's got overwhelming physical damage, and that's the gem of true sight now on the deck. VP, how much more will they lose? Gabby, this time he's going to be able to get off the primal roar. Drums of Slum, and Natsumi picks up his second kill now with the assistance. Abed leading them forward, charging forth now. Connects onto Squadix, pulls him away from the tree that Tim's needed for the bushwhack. Will that make a difference? It will not. Squadix still dies, such as the net worth lead for Blacklist, who will now claim their prize of Arosha, and that's how the fights are supposed to go. Here at Teach, he might be able to find himself a free support kill here. Solar Crest, find a bit of time now. This might be a little bit too deep. That's a great charge forward, though, but Natsumi Raccoon. unleashing on this Requiem of Souls. The fear, it's good enough for the kill. No chance to get off the Shadow Dance. John Well eventually goes down, but notice he's committed his entire life just for the Maiden. I mean, to be fair, I've known guys who have also thrown their life away. <laughs> down it goes. Simi surely does a number as well as Notice trying to do his best. Okay, now they've got to just give it whatever they've got. They're on to Abed. The control is pretty good, but Abed with a BKB, he simply just walks away while Natsumi beats into FNG. FNG, no way out of this for him. He's sidelined now for 70 seconds of the dieback penalty for him. Notice he's not getting away from Natsumi. Is No one's getting away from Natsumi at this point, but notice he does have buyback. They've dropped the Meteor Hammer out of Kirit's Beach, and he's just dead. He Shadow Dance, but for what? A dance into the grave for them. A dance for the 2-0, and uh, a beautiful victory here for Blacklist as they take down Virtus Pro. A little bit of a hiccup at the end. Not the cleanest, but they got the job done. I finished the game, I finished with a flourish at the end.